Now in today's video, I want to take a look at two options. A cheap and an expensive option for United's transfer window. Now we know under the new Ineos regime, we're probably going to be a little bit stricter on how we spend the cash. But that's what a decade of bad spending and mismanagement has really led to. But even still, we know the big improvements are needed to this squad. And for a change, we might actually be able to sell some players. Nah. Nah. I don't believe it. So even though realistically we're going to end up searching in the bargain bin again, it's worth looking to see what we could do if we did loosen those purse strings a little bit. So as always guys, drop a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get into it. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go! So first I'm going to start with the midfield options, where the expensive option is really just staring us right in the face, and even the United admin have been teasing us with it recently. I said let him cook! But Joe Neves just seems perfect for United now, and specifically just partnering Mino in that midfield. Despite being small in stature, I wouldn't let that fool you. He has the physicality, the cope of the Premier League, and all the technical attributes to go with it as well. This guy would complement Mino perfectly, and get United's midfield set up now for the, at least the next five years. I say five years because realistically, he's going to end up at Madrid at some point. I am inevitable. The only trouble with him is, Benfica know how good he is, so they've slapped a 120 million euro release clause onto him, and they don't look willing to do a deal for any less than that this summer. So while the Fernandez love is really good to see, it does look as if any deal for him this summer is going to be unlikely. Thanks for bringing it up. So who could United opt for instead, and I've picked out Yusuf Fafana for this. As he's heading into the last year of his contract now, he represents a good bit of business for many teams. An aggressive ball winner who loves to carry the ball forward, he's a very solid option. There may be doubts over whether he's more of a number 8 rather than a number 6. Obviously whether he can be that really good partner next to Mino, we're going to have to wait and see. But nonetheless, he's going to be a great addition to United's engine room if United can get him for that potential cut price free. Got some positive vibes in here. <laughs> and now we move on to the centre-back spot and... While it looks as if Branthwaite is kind of nailed on this summer, he provides obviously that left centre-back option really. In this video, I want to focus on that right centre-back spot and essentially, who's going to replace Varane? And the cheap option for this one is the one staring us right in the face and that's going to be Tadebo. With United's new links with Nice now, a deal has been rumoured for quite some time. While he might not be of elite quality, He's still a very good age profile, and he fits what United need from a ball-playing centre-back. In the more expensive option, I could have gone with Yoro, because we're still getting the links to him, but realistically, he's off to Madrid, and it's just the hope that kills you. Oh, a man can dream, though. A man can dream. But instead, I'm going for a guy who Tenar would be very fond of still, and that's going to be Delict. Now, the initial fee for Delict might not actually be much more than what Tadebo would cost, but just look at those wages. And we thought United's wage structure was bad, but that truly is something else. But Delict now, he's still only 24 years of age, heavy links to Ten Hag. I think Ten Hag would really like that deal to happen. Still a very good player. He hasn't quite hit the heights at Bayern Munich, but still a very, very good option. But obviously now, under the new Ineos regime, he's unlikely to get anywhere near those wages at United. So if he's going to come here, then he's going to have to take a real pay cut. And next up, and we know the United will look to bring in a left back this summer, but names haven't really been cropping up all that regularly. A seemingly cheap option would be Hungary's Kirkes. Out in the Euros at the minute, his club is obviously Bournemouth, so he's got a bag of Premier League experience already. A young star who could deputise for sure and potentially take that left-back role off him in the future. Rumours of the price have varied a little bit, but we have seen him around sort of that 20-30 million mark. Obviously not the finished article, but still has bags of potential. Already has that Premier League experience. He could come in and be a very good option alongside Luke Shaw for that left-back um, spot for United. Obviously given the fact that Malasia, we still don't know what's going to happen with him. But in terms of the more expensive option, and that's going to be the Wolves fullback, Aitnuri. For years, Aitnuri kind of flown under the radar at Wolves, and even though he's actually been a very solid player for quite some time, but now people are really latching on to the fact that he's a very, very good player. Amazing dribbler with good tenacity off it. 
there may be many clubs vying for him this summer now, and Wolves are fully aware of that. So a potential deal, they're going to be asking for around £50 million plus for his signature. So that could heavily just price United out of any deal for him. And now we're moving on to the striker spot. And who will help Hoyland with the burden of leading this United line? My cheap option is someone who continues to score goals. And he seems to have been around forever. But netting an impressive 21 goals for Atletico last season. That's Alvaro Morata. While his wages might cause a little bit of an issue... The reported release clause of around 12 million euros might be worth looking at. Still only 31 years of age, for a short-term deal, while Hoyland gains some experience, still of the Premier League, he could represent a very decent option. And my more expensive one is going to be that of Ivan Tony. Obviously still at Brentford, we're familiar with his return to action last season. If he didn't have that layoff, he probably would have already had a big money move already. But he's still at Brentford at the minute. And they've dropped their price tag a little bit from 80 to 60 million pounds. But that still looks far too much for United to get that deal done this summer. But will they reduce it even more? United are keen on him. Obviously, with Maratta, you know what you're getting. He's going to score some goals, but he obviously has been around the block a lot. He's not going to excite many people. With Ivan Tony, the story can be a little bit different. Obviously, he can come in. He will be vying for more minutes, probably, than what Maratta would. But. Ivan Tony, he's been around the Premier League for quite some time now. He's do that big move, scored goals consistently, but obviously United, they're probably going to get priced out of a deal because Brentford are realistically going to be looking for at least 50 million plus. And lastly, guys, there's been a lot of talk of whether United need a winger or not this summer, and obviously a lot depends on the potential player sales the United get coming in this window. You can do it. We need you to do it. My expensive option has been one that's linked with United for quite some time now, and that's going to be Elise. Chelsea still haven't nabbed him up just yet. Obviously, he tore up the Premier League last season. That 60 million release clause now, it has a lot of teams trying to get after him. A mixture of different United priorities this summer, along with our price tag, may mean that the United do miss out on this Prem star. But have no worries, because there's other options out there. The cheap option I'm going to provide in this video. Someone, obviously, that can provide a little bit of a different option to Elise. Maybe more of a left-wing option instead. I'm looking at Desiree Douai. And the youngster from the French League is reportedly available for around 30 million, which has surprised a lot of people. With bags of potential at only 19 years of age, the ability to play across the whole front line, he has the ability to combine play while also possessing some silky dribbling skills. He's definitely one for the future, and if that price really is true, then United really should be all over it. So there we are, guys. This video goes to show there shouldn't be any excuses this summer. If we can't recruit in certain positions, it's not because there's not options out there. Yes, obviously, we might not be able to get the most expensive ones, but there's cheaper ones out there. And honestly, in certain situations, the cheaper ones are really just as good. So United need to get that business done this summer now. Going to be a busy time of it. Stay tuned to the channel for all the latest news surrounding all the transfers, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.